Good morning Year 2, this is Thursday's English lesson and today we are going to be learning all about the final sentence type. So there are four in total and we're going to learn about the last one today. So we already know what statement sentences are, question sentences and commands. Now today we're going to learn all about exclamatory sentences and how we use them how we say them and how we write them. So let's learn all about exclamation sentences. So this is an exclamation mark and we can use this in a few different ways. We can use it to show surprise, to add emphasis of something, to show strength or when somebody is shouting. So an exclamation sentence is used when someone is surprised. Now, lots of our sentences often start with how or what. That's really important when we are writing an exclamatory sentence. And it contains a verb and a noun. So here we've got a sentence that starts with what and it must end with an exclamation mark. This sentence starts with how and ends with an exclamation mark. So, what a great footballer you are. How kind you are. So I'm using my expression when I read exclamatory sentences. You can have exclamations that aren't sentences. So they're really short phrases. What fun. Or how lovely. Again, they still start with what and how, but this time they have no verb. Let's see when else we can use an exclamation mark. So we looked at commands yesterday. And sometimes you can use an exclamation mark in a command. And it's to make it sound like someone is shouting, go away, eat your tea, come here, be quiet, sit down. So again, the exclamation mark at the end is to express, okay? And it is used as well for when somebody is shouting. So we can use it in commands too. Or we can use it when somebody is surprised or excited. Oops, wow, I love it. Brilliant, summer holidays. So that is when we can use exclamation marks as well. So what your job is now, I want you to read this sentence, which just has a full stop at the end. But then this sentence is the same but it's got an exclamation mark at the end. So I want you to have a go at reading it normally and then reading it with the exclamation mark at the end. So I'm going to do the first one for you. I love your hair. I love your hair. What can you notice? What was the difference between these two sentences? And the difference was that I use my expression here because there is an exclamation mark. Let's see if I can, I'll do one more and then I want you to have a go. How funny you are. How funny you are. See if you can have a go at saying these three sentences without an exclamation mark and with an exclamation mark. And you may need to pause the video to have a quick go. Now you've had a practice at reading some sentences using your expression that has an exclamation mark at the end. So now let's find out what we've learnt about exclamatory sentences. So today we are really going to focus on exclamatory sentences that start with what or how. Okay, and we're going to make sure it contains a verb and a noun. So now what we're going to do is have a look at our task for today. You have got some different pictures and your job is you're going to cut them out and you are going to write some exclamatory sentences for each 
picture. So we have got a beautiful sunset, an elephant, a castle or a palace, cake, flowers, a witch, a rocket and a car. So that is the pictures that you are going to be writing sentences for. But Miss Billick has got just some slightly different ones to show you how to write your sentences. So I have got a picture of a teddy bear and a dinosaur. And I'm just going to remind myself about an exclamatory sentence. I must start my sentence with what or how. That is how I write an exclamatory sentence. And it is a full sentence. And I need to include a verb and I must end my sentence with an exclamation mark. Otherwise, it won't be an exclamatory sentence. So I've got my reminders at the top. How, what, and an exclamation mark. So I'm going to think about what exclamatory sentence I could write about the teddy bear. So a teddy bear is very cute and cuddly. So I might say, how cute and cuddly that teddy bear looks. So I'm going to start my first sentence with how. How cute and cuddly that teddy bear looks. Now, I don't put a full stop at a, the end of an exclamatory sentence. It must have an exclamation mark. So I'm just going to check that I started with how or what. Yes, I've started with how and I've got an exclamation mark at the end. Now, for each picture, you are going to write two exclamatory sentences and I want one sentence starting with how. So my next sentence, I need to start with what. And I'm going to now think of another sentence about the teddy bear. So I'm going to say, what an enormous soft teddy. What an enormous soft teddy you have and remember exclamation mark so then when you have done your two sentences for each picture I want you to go back and read it using your fabulous expression how cute and cuddly that teddy bear looks what an enormous soft teddy you have. Now I'm going to move on to my dinosaur. So again, I need to start one sentence with how, one sentence with what. Can you remind Miss Billick what punctuation I need at the end of my exclamatory sentence? Well done, I need an exclamation mark. So, dinosaurs are terrifying, so I might say, how terrifying that dinosaur looks. How terrifying that dinosaur looks. Now, exclamation mark at the end. So, now I have done one sentence for this picture using how, I need to do my next sentence starting with what. And I can see this dinosaur has got a huge horn on its nose, on the end of its nose. So I might say, what a huge horn it has. Capital letter at the start of my sentence. What a, oh, I'm just gonna thread huge. Huh? Huge, huge. What a huge horn it has. Exclamation mark. Now I need to go back and read my sentences using my expression. How terrifying. 
terrifying that dinosaur looks. What a huge horn it has. So year two, it is now your turn to write some exclamatory sentences for these pictures. For each picture, you need to write two sentences. One starting with how and one starting with what. Can you remember what punctuation we must remember at the end? Well done, it's an exclamation mark and you're going to make sure at the end you read back your sentence using your expression. I hope you have a lovely morning and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!